Hey y'all, welcome and welcome back to my channel. I'm Chelsea if you're new and welcome back to another vlog. Oh my God, it's been, well right now when you're seeing this, it's been like a week since y'all have seen me. I miss y'all, but technically today is November 1st. I'm back working because I got so many things I wanna do, so many things I wanna say. It's like a new season to me. I feel like um, Vlogtober was just full of like fall stuff and y'all know I'm in Christmas mode, baby. We we in Christmas mode. We gonna we gonna do Christmas and then Thanksgiving gonna come. We are gonna do Thanksgiving and then right back to Christmas. But I just got a lot going on and I'm just in the mood to vlog today. So I'm not forcing it. I just want to do it. So here I am. But I've done my hair. I've done my makeup because I wanted to make like a um a real like um I've been seeing so many like POV. It's November 1st and people are like putting up their trees in their Christmas pajamas. So I've already recorded <coughs> already recorded that and that was so much fun and I'm just I'm just in a good mood. Today is a good day. It's officially my birthday month. So I'm just I'm feeling good. I'm feeling motivated. I'm feeling refreshed. I'm just feeling really 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 good. I hope whenever you guys are seeing this, y'all are feeling good and refreshed and just excited for the holiday season because it is here. Right now, I'm about to make a TikTok. I've, girl, y'all know I went to Sephora. By the time y'all see this, the sale is probably over, but I went to Sephora the first day of the sale. Have not touched the items yet because I wanted to do like a TikTok, um, just doing a haul of everything I got. So I'm about to do that. I just wanted to introduce the vlog, let y'all know what was going on, and just really introduce the vlog because I'm pretty sure this is going to be a long one. If you guys notice something different, I, I never officially started working on my office. I just, when my desk came, I said it a different way in the room. But last night, I was like, I kind of want to like switch where the desk is. So I turned the desk like facing, I'm facing the windows and these are my curtains and I'm really feeling it. Like... I'm really, really feeling it. So now that I got the desk how I want it, I can start like building around the room and we'll probably do some of that in the vlog as well. Um, I know I want like a cute little seating area in here and then I want a lamp in here as well because it gets extremely dark in here because these are blackout curtains. So it's like pitch black in this room. I got a ring light on right now. But yeah, and then y'all know I bought the mini fridge for this room. So I want to like stock it with like coffees and celsius and water and all those things so we just got a lot of things we're going to be getting into i also ordered a new bed the new bed is here so we'll be putting a new bed up so it's just a bunch of stuff going to be happening in this vlog so definitely make sure if you're not subscribed you subscribe and if you are subscribed and you already watch you stick around because it's going to be a fun one let me make this tiktok and i'm gonna be back okay i did the things i wanted to do today which was i want to do a sephora haul with TikTok, which I had to record twice because the first time I hated the quality. And then I did my little um putting my Christmas tree up TikTok. And then what else did I want to do? Oh, clean a room and possibly put our new bed together. Maybe. I'm tired because I'm hungry. Like I want to eat something. I don't know what I want to eat. I want to leave the house. I don't want to leave the house. Girl, I'm up, I'm down, I'm here, I'm there. But I'm happy that I did get the Sephora haul done so I can use my freaking products. I put up my Christmas little TikTok. I also put it on my home page. If you're into home decor or just, you know, that type of stuff, make sure you follow my home page, which is at home with Chelsea. That's where I you get like VIP behind the scenes because I'm not showing the Christmas tree on my vlog yet until we do like the home decor or whatever, but on TikTok and on my home decor page is like you get to see things first because that's where I post that type of con that's where I post that type of content at. So everybody was like, Oh my god, I'm so happy to see the tree and this and the third. And I'm like, Yeah, girl. Yeah, I know. It's beautiful. I'm so happy to have that Christmas tree. If you're still looking for a Christmas tree, I will have that one linked down below. It is so beautiful. I plan to have that Christmas tree for years and years and years to come. And yeah, that's that. I'm about to go find me something to eat and just chill out. So y'all know this is our old bed. I just really wanted something lighter. It's kind of dark and it's stained. So I'm going to prop y'all up and we're going to take this one apart, take this one apart and put the new one up. So 
also getting new nightstands and everything. It'll be a whole process, so just stick around. The bed is taken apart. Deanna and I are about to put up the new bed. But we're about to put up our new bed. I just vacuumed the floor. The mattress is right here. So I'm gonna prop y'all up. Whew. And I'm excited, girl. I've been working. I've been making like a TikTok. Um, taking, a bar, taking our old bed apart. And now we're about to put the new bed up. Good morning. Today is... Can I switch over here? No. Today is Thursday. I am up. It's 11.38. What's going on today? What is going on today? I really don't know what's going on today. I know at 2.45 I have to meet my friend Kobe. She's moving into a new apartment. And she just want me to come with her to, you know, look at the apartment make sure everything good and then i think afterwards we're gonna do like drinks or lunch or something that's all i got planned we put up our new bed yesterday i don't even know if i told y'all i got a new bed i cannot remember i did a lot yesterday y'all i did a lot but we got a new bed um and i love it it sits so much higher i haven't had a high sitting bed in a minute but this bed requires like a box spring so we bought the box spring from off Wayfair. That's where the bed is from as well. It was like a metal box spring. And the bed just sits so high. It's so comfortable. It's just so different from our old bed. And I absolutely love it. So yeah, I'll show y'all that um, a little bit later. Dion did not go to work today. So he's still in the bed, y'all. So I didn't get a chance to like make the bed and show y'all what it looked like. Now that we finally put our new bed up. I'm looking for nightstands and I'm just ready to like really do the room. I feel like since we moved here, I really didn't do the room. So my two like main, um, my two main projects right now in this house is my office and my bedroom. So trying to get those together. So slowly but surely I'll be bringing in pieces to complete the project. Now I think I'm about to make me, I want to make an acai bowl, but I don't feel like pulling out the blender all the pieces to the blender i just really don't feel like doing that so i don't know i don't know what i'm about to do i used my t3 on my hair this morning and kind of like blew it out a little bit so definitely obsessed with how this look and this hair is so good y'all y'all know this hair was bleached blonde then i dyed it back black this hair is from Asia J Hair. I'll have her information down in the description box. It's a small black owned hair business. Her hair is bomb. Customer service is bomb. So definitely check her out if you're in the market for some hair. Hey y'all, I am in the car getting ready to go see Kobe's new apartment. I'm very excited for her and to see the place. And then afterwards, I found this place that has like all you can eat oysters. So we're gonna go there. I asked Kobe, has she ever had oysters? She said she hasn't, but she'll be willing to try. And the place sell other stuff too, so. Yeah, that's that. Um, when I was looking for something to wear today, I realized I need to, what time is it? Let me put the address in. I realized I need to get some more um, black leggings. Like, when it's cold outside, I really enjoy styling black leggings with different outfits. Because I'm talking to my vlog. <laughs> but I really enjoy styling like black leggings with different outfits. And all of my leggings either have holes in them or they're dingy or bleached up. So if I have time, I'm going to stop by Forever 21 because I really enjoy their black leggings. They don't fall down on me. They're just comfortable. So And they're affordable. But I haven't gotten any in like a year or two. So I don't even know if they still sell them. But... We're going to head to Kobe's house, and I'll see y'all when I get there. Maybe. I don't know. I don't know if she want me to record her new place or while I'm in it, but we'll see. So cute. It's going to look really pretty at night when all the lights are on. If I would have stuck with my original thing, which was going to be like the wooden, modern, organic, I would have been all over these. So pretty. Let me go check the candle section to see if they have the candle I've been looking for. 
doubt it. But, okay, wait, this is cute. This is not what I've been looking for, but this is so cute. How much is this? $10? I love this. This is cute too. I'm gonna do a whole thing of Christmas trees, candle trees. How much is this? Ten dollars in your mind. Twelve ninety nine. You may be mine. Fourteen ninety nine. I'm putting you back. Twelve ninety nine. Mm, nothing else over here. Let me look at the hosting my family for Thanksgiving. So I've been trying to look for little ins and outs. This is so cute. Like I love the pink iridescent. So cute. In the inside, I really like this one. But last time I bought a white Santa, y'all almost canceled me. So I won't get that. <laughs> We're done with home goods. I'm gonna show y'all what I got when I get home. I bought this like brown bench that I needed. It's one of those days where it's cold and hot at the same time, and it's kind of annoying. But we're gonna eat at this place called Barcelona. I've never been there before, but I've heard of it. Kobe says everything is pretty much good there, so that's where we're going. Friday. I am up. Today was such a good day. So let me go back to yesterday before I start with today. And I'm also getting ready to do my makeup so I won't be like looking at y'all. But yesterday was so much fun. I told y'all I was going with my friend to um, see her new apartment and just, you know, be there with her while she do the whole process, you know, get her keys and just do everything because that was her first time, you know, doing something like that alone. And although you're doing it alone, you really don't want to be alone when you're doing it most times, most people. So I was just there to support her. And it was really good because I've never got to experience, um, like, living alone. And I just think it's so cool. I was so happy and proud of her for, you know, making that step. So her place is so cute. I can't wait till she start, like, you know, just, like, making it her own. But after that, yesterday, I told y'all we was going to go to this place that has, like, all-you-can-eat oysters. We ended up going to this place called Barcelona. I have been seeing that place, but I'm just like, y'all know I'm a very picky eater. And it's to the point where it's annoying now to me, personally. Because it's like, I limit myself to places I can go to. Because... I'm such a picky eater, you know, and I know it's something on the menu I would eat, but I just feel like being a super picky eater, you can't really enjoy the restaurant for real. So I just never went, but we seen it and she was guaranteeing me. She's like, the food is so good. You're going to love it. Like the food is good. So I was like, girl, let's try it. We went and when I tell y'all 10 out of 10, Highly would recommend Barcelona to anybody. It's like a um a Spanish type restaurant, I think. And it was really good. It was really good. We just got a bunch of tapas. We actually did not get like a main course. But the tapas are so good. They're like small plates. And you just get a bunch of those. So you can just try out a bunch of different things. And it was really good. Like I had a great time i will definitely be back i got some to go as well olive oil cake i don't know if this is a universal good thing or it varies place to place depending on who's making it but the olive oil cake <coughs> at barcelona immaculate i would have never thought that that cake would have been so good it was so good y'all and now today's friday and i'm going to brunch with someone new so i'm excited about that i'm excited to be getting out this is my season y'all like this is this is my season i thrive 
in the following winter. Truly, truly, truly do. So always in a good mood and I thank God for that. My stomach does hurt because I told y'all I don't be feeling my best early in the morning. But we're going to push through because it don't last all day. Um, and what else? I think that's about it. Brunch is at 12. It's 9.20 right now. We're going to this place called The Breakfast Bar, I believe. And it's far. It's in Duluth. It's like 40 minutes from me. So I wanted to wake up early so I can do my makeup and just have some time to myself. I don't have to rush because I feel like lately I've just been rushing constantly and it's so fucking annoying so yeah just have some time to myself to do my makeup do my hair and get myself together so just want to check in let y'all know what was going on i do want to try some of my new sephora products so throughout this makeup process i'll pick y'all back up when i try those products so um yeah i'll be back how about we try out this fenty eavesdrop Blur and Smooth Tint Skin. Tint Stick. It's super pretty. I don't even know if y'all can see. Mm, I just assume you'll just put some marks on your face. Oh, it looks kind of red. I mean, not going to risk it. I don't have to try this. We'll try this when we're not going anywhere. How about that? I do want to give it a fair try. However, I am not trying to look like an Oompa Loompa. So we're going to go in with my trusted YSL All Hours Foundation. Let's see what we get from that. Well, to blend out my under eye, oh no. <laughs> To set my under eye, I'm going to try the One Size Ultimate Setting Powder in Ultra Pink. Cannot lie. I'm a little nervous. Well, I haven't had a, a new container in so long, I don't even know how to open it. There we go. My energy is just low. I wanted to make coffee, but coffee takes more time and I'm trying to, you know, get things done. So cheers. And I think I'm the only person in the world that prefers the non-carbonated ones. I love, this is my favorite one. The peach mango green tea non-carbonated. It's my favorite one. I'm so nervous about this powder. I don't want to be too heavy handed because I don't, I don't know. Let's see. That's not bad. It barely looks pink. To like dust off all the excess powder I like to go in with this Sephora number 98 brush I'm trying to hype myself up y'all I feel super overdressed um but here's the thing, I don't really go places, so when I do go somewhere, I feel like I need to wear the clothes I buy because I'm not going to stop buying clothes, so. And I love the outfit. I feel so cute. This is how I want to dress. I feel classy, but I do feel overdressed. But it is what it is. We, it is what it is. I have on this super cute cardigan that I got from h and m it's so cute and then i just got on a black turtleneck which is also from h m but i got it like last year and then i got on the same pants i had on yesterday which are from asos 
And last night, I don't know if I told y'all, but I think I was telling y'all how I want like more black leggings. I looked on Forever 21's website, they didn't have none. So I ended up placing an order at, on ASOS. I got some um, black ballerina flats, which I wish I had right now, because these are the shoes I'm thinking about wearing. They have like this patent leather at the front and then like this little block heel. I think these are so cute. Like they fit my current aesthetic and I just think it's so cute. So um, I'm trying to put this belt in while I talk to y'all. Actually, let me take this sweater off right now because I'm kind of hot. I got at least, what time is it? Yeah, I can leave the house in about 20 minutes and I'll be good. But yeah, I'm just trying to hype myself up because girl, like, you you overdress for what? Dress how you want to dress, you know what I mean? Like, that's what I'm trying to hype myself up for because it's not like I don't like the way I look. It's not like, you know, I'm uncomfortable. These clothes are so comfortable. And that's another thing. I did a video and I was talking about, like, dressing for your body and dressing for comfortability is like the biggest thing for me baby i want to be comfortable i'm not the type to wear something because it's cute and be uncomfortable that's not me but it's cute i done did my little lint roller because y'all know how black get going in with my avino daily moisturizing body mist oil and for my scent i did jerzhoff's um herba pura it smells so good, so rich, so expensive. I absolutely love that. I still haven't done my lips because I went upstairs and curled my hair to lotion my feet. I hate lotion in my feet. They're so far down. Oh, so here's the outfit. Y'all, this sweater is so pretty. Like, I just think it's so pretty. I love, like, the material of it. It's super soft. Love the buttons. Like I said, this is a turtleneck. It comes from H&M. This belt comes from H&M. These pants come from ASOS. I ordered another pair last night because these actually used to be long. But girl, I don't know what happened. I think it got dried. These shoes are from Torrid. I was going to wear the heels, but I just decided to wear the flats. I didn't want to wear the flats because I really don't think they match that much with the jacket. But it is what it is. Chanel bag, and I love this. I think it's cute. Are you ain't tricking, nigga? I'ma hit your man so you doing all that wacky right shit, knowing he don't fuck with you. I be damn, nigga. You know who I am, nigga. Y'all, I got it so bad. So, y'all, one thing about me, I don't drive far. I, 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 I will, but I got to be getting something else in return. So, this was my thing. I said, I'll go. Because I, we had, like, other options we can go to. But I was like, and then I was going to Uber. I was like, should I Uber or should I drive? But I was like, I'm going to drive because if I drive, I can go to the stores over there. Y'all know how I am. I just got off the expressway. Maybe I see a Target. I see a TJ Maxx. I see a Dick Sporting Good, in which I don't really go to Dick's, but they have some really cute Stanleys in there. So I might do a little wrap around. But yeah, I'm after after brunch, I'll definitely be going to these stores where I head back. But y'all, I'm far. I ain't never been over here before. <sighs> y'all, a couple days ago, I hit 99,000 subscribers on YouTube. But, um, I, I, I don't, I'm just at a loss of words. Like, I'm so excited. I'm so happy. And y'all are, like, so happy. Y'all are, like, excited and ready for me to hit 100K. And I'm just like, love y'all. This drive went bad because, baby, I was jamming. Do you hear me? Thank you, Friday. She's in the way. Funny how everything changed. I'm here, y'all. I got here 15 minutes early because I just, you know, you just never know what could happen on the road. And I didn't know where I was going, so I just, you know, and I was ready, so I left early. Anyways, I'm about to touch up my lip gloss. It's so crazy. 
Crazy in a good way, though. You know? Mm. I like this. And then I like to put a little bit of this on top. This is the YSL Lip Oil Stain. Something like that. And the number 44. And this is Fenty Beauty's Fussy. Cute. Looks cute, though. It looks cute. The breakfast part. Let me show you. Girl, I am back home. Ooh, ooh, ooh. So we went to the place called The Breakfast Bar. It was cool. The food was mediocre. It's way too far for the food to be mediocre, so I won't be back. But it's a really pretty pet place. They have like cute aesthetics and they got cooler drinks. I had a drink that had like dry ice in it. So that was cool. And I had a good time. We talked for so long, so many hours. We was just talking, getting to know each other. It was it was it was a vibe. It was a absolute vibe. So cheers to getting out there, meeting new people, starting, you know, communicating. Yeah, cheers to that. <clears throat> I think I'm gonna be in the house this weekend. I think I'm going to be in the house this weekend just getting shit together. <sighs> yeah. That's what it's giving. When I was doing Vlogtober Child, I told y'all I wasn't drinking. I probably had about three drinks since then. And I want to try that Prosecco tonight because me and my friends going to do like a little virtual sip and chill type of night. But I'm just having a good time. I'm happy. I feel good. So happy I got out there and did that. That was so much fun. Um, Yeah, I'm back home. So... I need to clean up this desk because I think I decided I used to do my makeup in my bathroom that's in my closet but I like just coming down here in my office doing my makeup because I got my ring light I got a desk to have all my stuff out at so I think this might be like my little area so yeah I probably gonna take this makeup off soon change my clothes and um just chill out whatever else I got going on I'll pick y'all up but we chilling. I just realized I haven't shown y'all the new bed. It is so pretty. So it's like a linen now. I think it's so pretty. Before we had like velvet, but this is like a linen and it's kind of lighter and it sits way higher y'all. Before the bed was kind of like a low profile, but this bed is like way higher. Now, I'm looking for nightstands and um, new lamps, but I love it. And still some art above the bed, but I love the bed. It's exactly what I wanted, something simple, and it's so pretty. All the pillows, these are Casa Luna. I think these are thresholds, and this is threshold or half the hand or something, but everything comes from Target. It's throw comes from Target. This is a Casa Luna this is a Casa Luna knitted, I mean a linen quilt. That's from everything is from Target. So I have everything linked. I like this because it's really thin. It's like just like a quilt. Casa Luna knitted throw. Pillows. Everything. Target. Super cute. And I have the bed linked. I love this bed. It's so pretty. And just so there. Like, it's not like a big focal point of the room, and that's what I wanted. So, that's our new bed. Now, we're looking for nightstands and wall art, and I also need a rug, but we'll get all that eventually. So, yeah, working on the room. Let me show y'all this stuff I got from Sephora real quick before I put it up. Because it's been in this box a few days, and I'm tired of seeing it. So... I got this Dr. Dennis Gross, the Holiday Peel Volt. The reason why I got this is because you get 60 extra strength pills. It's, those are the ones I buy regardless. 60 pills cost $153. 153.00. Pretty expensive. So with this Holiday Volt, you get the 60 pills plus 35 pills. So you get a free 35 pills. So I really want to get this. I'm kind of considering 
ordering another one before the sale is over because I love these pills so much. My skin loves them and I just want to make sure I have them. So why not get them while I can get them for 20% off? So I'm kind of thinking about getting another order of those. This is something I splurged on and it was my first time trying it. And I think I kind of like it. This little set was, I think, $100. This is the Clearance Skin Care Essential Set. I got this because I wanted this oil this is the double serum um oil i've heard so many things about it and i like it i haven't seen like any improvement on brightening or anything yet but i love how this applies to my skin i love the um instant brightness i get like glowiness when i put this on so i'm definitely loving this product so far and can't wait can't wait to see like some actual results from it because she's pricey but this little set i got came with the serum and it also came with the total eye lift which i'll be putting that on too and then it also came with a little face mask too so that was cool and then i got some sephora what are these just like what are these called what are these cotton pads just like some support cotton pads when i'm using toner i like to have some cotton pads then I got the Fenty Skin Trio, the little butter drops. I thought this was so cute. And you know, this is a fan favorite. The girls, me, love the butter drops. So this one has all three, the original, the warm cinnamon, and then the vanilla dream. So this is just so cute. And I'm happy to have that. And then the last thing I got was something I did not need, but I was like, this shit is so cute. It's the Replica by the Fireside Candle. I love this scent, especially for fall and winter. And they did like a limited edition with the gold packaging. And the actual candle is gold too. So I'm probably going to open this up for a reel or something. So I'm not going to open it up right now. But it's gorgeous. It's, it's absolutely gorgeous. So those are the things I got from Sephora. I am going to make one final trip to Sephora um, to get just some little ins and outs just to do one little, little wrap around so we may do that in this vlog or i may be starting another vlog i don't know girl but those are the things i got when i did my little order online these my skin loves these peel pads and i can tell when i don't have them because i just feel like my skin just looks dull and just not like itself so yeah so yesterday when I went to Home Goods with Colby, I found this little bench thing and it is perfect for what I wanted it for. This bathroom is just going to be like a bathroom I take baths in. It's the bathroom inside of the closet. So I wanted to have like all my bath essentials like put out like on a tray or a bench or something. So this is perfect. So right now I'm going to prop y'all up and we're going to kind of like decorate this. I am obsessed with how this came out. It looks so good. Everything just looks so good. Down here I got some foam and bath wash. A whole bunch of like Dr. Steel products. Then up here I just got candles, my matches, my two salts. One is melatonin, one is like a vanilla cashmere. I have my like Mojave Ghost bath wash and lotion. And then right here I just put this fresh sugar scrub i just think it's so cute like i am here for it and we got the tub right here with the bathtub tray like it's a vibe still not can i still can't believe i've been staying here since let's just say july august september october but i've really been here since like june and i have not taken a bath but we got our stuff so we'll probably take one tomorrow i'm about to take this makeup off uh, I'm about to take his makeup off. And Dion went to go get me some snow crab legs, steamed from Publix. Um, so I'm gonna have that for dinner, and it's just gonna be a vibe. Look at the bed, 
so pretty. Oh, I'm about to take this makeup off. Uh, tonight is the night. I'm going to be trying the Via Ray Prosecco by Issa Rae. Y'all know I said I wasn't going to be drinking, but just, just forget I said that. I got my glands. And I'm excited. Oh my goodness, I'm so excited. I like it, y'all. I, I like it. It tastes, it gives me like a fresh, crisp taste, if that make any sense. But I want to show y'all this thing I bought. Oh my God, y'all. Look at this fucking sweater I bought for my dog. I forgot about this. Are you, what? <laughs> He's gonna wear this on Thanksgiving. Try it on the bag. Let me show y'all what I got. So I bought this from Home Goods, and I knew it would come here because I have no intentions on drinking this whole bottle of Prosecco. It's a wine preserver system shit. So it comes with a vacuum pump and two stoppers. So I don't know how this instruct. It's supposed to plug the hole on the um, wine so it don't go flat. We're gonna see if it works. Happy Saturday. <sighs> it's 12.04, I'm just getting up. I am about to make myself some coffee, but first I gotta, oh my God. I left so much stuff out last night. I left the freaking milk out. I hope it's still good. Speaking of milk, y'all probably remember when I said I wasn't gonna try any more coffee creamers. Well, that was a lie because I went to Publix the other day and I had coffee creamers on sale by one you one free. So this is cookie butter and this is French vanilla. So I'm gonna be trying these out. I'm gonna taste them before I put them in my coffee because I ain't messing up no more coffee. So yeah, today's just gonna be a chill day of cleaning. I wanna, um deep clean my bathroom because it is a hot ass mess. I've been here for a few months now, so like the cabinets and the bathrooms, I just start throwing random stuff in the drawers and stuff. So I want to um, like reset, reorganize all of that stuff today and just clean every part of the bathroom. I want to order one of those like, y'all know when people be cleaning like their showers, in their bathroom, it's like this long extended spin brush pole thing. I need to look on Amazon because I want to order one of those. Because the way I be in that shower scrubbing should be illegal. Um, last night I went upstairs and I did not do the wine stopper thing. So I'm about to try that right now. The stopper on. You put the vacuum on. You. I don't know. I'm just going to pull out. I think I'm doing it right. Basically what you do is I put the stopper on and then on top of the stopper is this like vacuum part and you keep lifting up until it gets like really tight which is starting to get and that means I'm getting all the air out of it. <sighs> now that I got the air off, I just take this off. And when you want to like get back in it, it's a part right here that says pull and you just move it and it's gonna sound like psh. I really, really, really want to love the cookie butter. So. Mmm. 
That's bomb. <laughs> Whoa. This cookie butter almond milk creamer, bomb. Like bomb, bomb, bomb. I haven't tried the French vanilla, but bomb. There is a counter full of stuff, which I recently did this last night because I wanted to use my tray that I had all my like skincare stuff sitting on for something else. But <clears throat> these are all the products I plan to use. But first and foremost, I need to go through all these drawers. Like, this is what I'm talking about. Like, stuff is just thrown in random drawers. And I want to organize this. The bathroom is clean, the floor is mopped. I took everything off the counter except for like my stuff right there because I really wasn't feeling it. And I recently got this new tray. I thought it was so cute. It's like a marble tray with these little gold feet. I got this when me and Kobe went to Home Goods. She actually found it and picked it out, and it was only ten dollars. So I just got some of my products I've been using on here and yeah, I like it. I think I wanna get me some Byredo soap and lotion for this bathroom as well. But this is a whole bunch of products. I went through all of this. I organized what I wanted, what I didn't want. So it's not really organized, but all of this stuff I know I want. This one is just like pads, my mouthwash, cause I don't want to keep it on the counter and just overflow of stuff. This one is my peel pads that I use every day, Q-tips I use every day, um, teeth things, I forgot what they're called, toothbrushes, makeup remover stuff, and toothpaste. I would keep my toothbrush on the counter, but change my mind, don't want it on the counter, so I put it in there. So yeah, I'm, I'm happy with that, I'm happy. Somebody is having a very lazy day, and I don't know why. But his new sweater is so freaking cute. Sebastian. 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 If anybody was wondering, right now, Summer Fridays is my favorite lip balm. I just love putting stuff on. This is the Sweet Mint. I think Sweet Mint. Sweet. I think Sweet Mint. I ran out of the pink one. But this one... This is my junk. And I'm carrying my freaking Alma BB. I have not carried this purse in probably over a year. And y'all, I put my cherry charm on it. Are you seeing this? She's so pretty. I'm about to go to Costco. I made a list of the like things I absolutely need to get from there. Yeah, I'm going to bring y'all with me. Batteries. I think I need mostly like double A batteries. So I'm gonna get double A, but I'm gonna probably regret not getting triple A. But I think we need mostly double A. I'm not strong enough to come to the store because I I wanted this. Do I want do I want coarse ground black pepper or fine ground black pepper? Pep, pep. And now I'm looking for garlic. Do I need crushed? I feel like I do need some crushed red peppers. The seasonings are way cheesy here, cheaper here. Three ninety nine for this big old thing. Garlic powder, butter. Yeah, I see that one right now. That one is fourteen forty nine, but the Kirkland's is twelve ninety nine. Better not fall. I'm not playing. Trying to show y'all my little sample. It's French onion dip and some type of chips. The regular chips you bought. I like it, but I don't like onions, so it's too much onion. I like the dip without onions, just like I like banana pudding without bananas. 
So the power wash is only eight dollars and you get one sprayer with it and you get two refills so basically you get three. Ooh. We got another sample it is the prime hydration sticks. H&M and can we talk about this bag I have to get this I I love that I'm back home and that drained me child we went to Costco and right next door to Costco is the mall so I went into the mall because I was going to go to Sephora but before I went to Sephora I went to H&M and I found this black bag which I think I showed y'all and I found like two other things so I was like you know what you're not going to Sephora. You spent your Sephora money at H&M, so I went home. So now I'm gonna show you what I got from Costco, um, which is not a lot, but, you know, I'll show you. So, I like these waters. The first time I got them, it was my first time trying them, so I didn't know if I was gonna like them. I do like them, and I specifically like the sport cap top ones. So, those are the ones I get. This was just a random pickup. Um, these juices, because I really wanted apple juice. I was going to get, they had like a 24 pack of just apple juice. But then I seen this one, and I was like, oh, we can get like different kinds, because I also really like grape juice too. So, got that. Um, Gatorade. I got these toilet wine refills, because y'all know I use these to clean my toilet and it came with the extra handle which is cool I picked up some aluminum pans because Thanksgiving is coming so I want to you know slowly start getting stuff this is just a random pickup honestly um, the batteries I have so many things I need to put batteries in so batteries and then I got the garlic powder the black pepper and then the crushed red pepper flakes. I need to put these over here. These Excedrin, which is like just like pain reliever. This is my receipt. I also got this down this Dawn power wash, which we needed. I love this stuff. This um, is my most exciting purchase because I have been wanting this this is the beast blender I can't wait to try this I'm probably gonna open it up soon as I finish recording this with us that's exciting I wanted that over here we have some lemonade this is also for Thanksgiving when my family comes so we can have something to drink we usually do like a lemonade and then like a sweet tea so that's for that I wanted to try these cheese danishes, however, wait a minute, this should say sale by November 5th, tomorrow is November 5th, hmm. I wonder if I could put these in the freezer, but anyways, I didn't know it was two packs, I thought it was just only one pack, so when I got to the register, he was like, oh, run back and get another pack, so we got two packs of freaking cheese danishes. Got a whole bunch of butter. I just went ahead and got this big pack of butter because Thanksgiving is coming up and you could put butter in the freezer. So we got plenty of butter. These randomly to just like pop in the air fryer when you, you know, just random. Huh? No. I got this chicken coconut curry with mango. I don't know, I just randomly picked that up. I got this stew beef, which I'm gonna cook tomorrow. Not all of this, but some of it. And then found these sea salt and black pepper oven roasted potatoes. And then lastly, got this big box of chips. Good morning. These windows are so tall. And y'all know I'm tall. So when I be having to get on my tippy toes, I be like, petite. <laughs> now nah, I'm just playing. But I am about to get the crock pot out because it's cooking.
cooking beef stew. Ugh. On my birthday list is a new crock pot. I don't even think y'all can, I don't even think y'all can see me, but last night time went back and I'm really messing with it. I mean, so far I'm liking it. Now when it's freaking pitch black at 5 p.m., I may be a little salty, but I think it's just so cool. I Ew, that's open. Ugh, I love how I feel like I got like an extra hour. Waking up at nine o'clock, it usually would be 10 o'clock. So it, it made me feel more productive, I don't know. But happy Sunday. I think I told y'all, I'm making beef stew today. I'm excited because beef stew is one of my favorite meals. It's just like that comfort meal with the rice and the gravy and the green beans. And I'm gonna do muffins with it. <clears throat> and yeah, it's just gonna be, it's just gonna be good. I need a new crock pot for my birthday because this one don't even have a top no more. I guess while we was moving, I lost the top. I don't know, but I just be putting like aluminum foil on the top and chow. It's giving ghetto. So, yes, please. DI, did you clean this meat? Wow. So, I'm about to clean and season this meat. And I'll probably be back. I just wanted to let y'all know it's Sunday. I'm up, I'm cooking, and I'm in a great mood, so. All right, y'all, so here is the office. These are the curtains. I don't think I ever showed y'all the curtains, but I have a love-hate relationship with these curtains because I like how dark they are, but sometimes I kind of wish I had sheer curtains to bring in some light, so I go back and forth. Here's the desk. Y'all know how I feel about the desk. Love the desk. Um, I love where I put the desk in front of the curtains. I really like this. I need a rug. And we have this whole area right here. My vision is to have like some type of chair, like big loungy, comfortable chair with the lamp. And then some type of like credenza console, something that I can put things in and I can also like decorate on top. And then like a mirror, like, right here maybe like i want some type of mirror but not like a full body mirror some type of like circle mirror so i don't know if that would go like over here or over here i don't know i don't know i'm still just like going back and forth and i'm trying to be i'm trying to be intentional as possible especially when it comes to like putting things on the wall y'all remember i did the like black and white i spray painted the bookshelf black and white um Dion was finna put it on the wall and I was like I don't like that so never use that because I just it just did not fit the vibe it just I didn't like it so yeah I'm trying to be super intentional about this room but I do I do like where the desk is at and like I said I just want a rug and then the refrigerator was over here but I moved it right here because I just think that's a better spot. And I got like all of this random stuff over here, which we can actually sit here and go through. We ain't got nothing else to do. But this is why I need my little storage cabinet or whatever I'm going to have so I can put all this stuff in. A bunch of books and like journals. This is 100 Days of Believing Bigger. There's so many different things in here. We got journals. This journal right here. It's so special to me because this is where I wrote. This was, I don't want y'all to see everything, but 
This was Monday, August 24th, 2020, so almost four years ago. And I was talking about how I'll be moving to Atlanta and how I was scared and I didn't know how I would be able to do it and yeah, all of that type of stuff. I've been looking for this. I really like this little book. Um, it's a hundred like morning prayers. No matter what you're going through, how you're feeling, you can just turn to a page and find one that um, resonates with you. So this one is parents' prayer to their baby, wedding prayers. Like it's prayers for everything. If you're feeling anxious, if you're feeling scared, if you feel like you need grace for blessings, clarity. But it's just write stuff down, y'all. Write stuff down. Because when it happens, it's like a full circle moment. It's like, what? For me, sometimes if I don't write it down, I'll forget about it. Like, I'll, I'll, I'll forget. This is a prayer journal. Another book. Did I write in this journal? Oh, this was the journal um, that I would write in when I went to church. I need to start back going to church for sure. And I would write like my notes on um, May 5th, 2023. The word was about like approval addiction, how we just seek validation and approval from other people. And it also talked about how God will take care of you. You don't need to let approval addiction stop you from doing what god has called you to do there's no growth within your comfort zone forgive yourself for your past thoughts of yourself let go of negative people choose to believe the best stop living in fear of rejection this was a good word oh my god that was a really good word and all those things are still very relevant this is a picture of when i went to dubai me and my ex-friend i won't show her because you know look at me how freaking cute and this was like i think this was 2019 you know and this was when we this what the little thing looked like I also took another one. We went to this thing in Dubai called the Flying Cup. Look. <laughs> That's me. What else do I have in here? Oh, this is my... So, I do... I, I used to make, like, big vision boards. Now, I just do a vision book. And every year, I just put things in here. This was the one I made for 2021. I wrote, I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. And that's on period. This is just a bunch of like motivational stuff. Um, brands I want to work with. At the time, I had Pretty Little Thing, JBW, and Walmart. I still ain't work with Walmart. Holla at me. <laughs> and I put my subscriber count. So January 1st. 2021, I had 35,576 subscribers. And on Instagram, I had 12,200 subscribers. And I just like, this is what it looks like if y'all care. I had put like the little YouTube plaque right there and I put my name on it. And then right here, I said uh, personal life, things I wanted to do. I put places I wanted to go, which was Mexico, New York, Jamaica, and Colorado. I still haven't been to Colorado, but soon, maybe. And then this is this is the part that means the most to me. The little welcome to Atlanta sign. I was like, I'm moving to Atlanta because at this point I was not in Atlanta. I did not live here. And then Sebastian. See the doggy and I wrote, hi, I'm Bash. Because I I wanted his this dog. He was my dream dog, and I named him Sebastian. So that's what I wanted to do. Then 2022, I just got a whole bunch of like motivating words. And that's all I wrote. And then in 2022, I wrote, um, 
things I wanted to do. So this says June. I'm just putting y'all all in my business, but it's cool. So I wrote. You can, probably can't see, but I wrote something. It says June 15, 2022. I am so ashamed that I did not complete my vision board at the top of the year. But today is the day I realize it's not too late. Making a vision board has kept me very focused on the things that I want in life. Although we have six months in although we are six months in the year, I can start my vision boards now. I can start my vision board now. Things are so different when you put them on paper. I can do all things through Christ that strengthens me. I am enough. I am worthy of all the nice things life has to offer. And then I went back apparently and I wrote like my subscriber count. So January 2nd, 2022, I had 62,000 subscribers, 362,000 366 that's so cool and then I wrote brands I want to work with I put Walmart again because I hadn't worked with Walmart still haven't worked with Walmart I put skims which I have worked with skims I put pretty little thing which I've worked with pretty little thing and I also put Amazon and Target have not worked with them Places I want to travel. I put Cabo. I went to Cabo. I put LA. I went to LA. I put Houston. I went to Houston. I put Vegas. I went to Vegas. I put Jamaica. I went to Jamaica. And I put the San Diego Zoo. Because, <laughs> because I had this like point in time when I was like fixated on like the world's biggest. So I was like, oh, I want to go to like the world's biggest zoo or like the biggest zoo in the United States. I don't figure out what I. Um, Google but it was the San Diego Zoo so I still got to do that and I said things I want to do um oh <laughs> I put I, I put <laughs> I put something right here that's been heavy on my mind that I still want to do that I think I'm going to do it I just have to get out my own head um so yeah that's that's really cool to see and then 2023 it has been hours the food is pretty much done we're just waiting on the muffins which they are almost done i had to look down at my phone i said hi it's six o'clock and pitch black outside but that's the time change so after we eat i'm going in this vlog because i'm gonna start another one um right afterwards yeah hope you guys enjoyed this vlog it's been a little bit of this a little bit of that but getting back into the groove of the weekly vlogs expect a lot out of me this month i'm gonna be making some announcements be doing some fun things so definitely make sure you stay tuned um i don't know if this is the end of the vlog but if this is the end of the vlog and you are new here Please consider subscribing. I would love to have you a part of my family. And if you are not new here, thank you for sticking around for yet another upload. I love you guys so much. And if this is the end of the vlog, I'll see you in the next one.